Well, hello everybody. This is Papa again, and uh, I got to tell you, I really love your comments about uh, the story we read yesterday. It's called The Little Red Hen. So if anybody ever says, do you know the story of The Little Red Hen? I want you to always be able to say, yeah, I know the story about The Little Red Hen. And uh, remember how the story goes. The little red hen was out getting food. Remember, we said they don't have to go to Walmart or Costco or anywhere. They just go outside and eat, and they find things to eat. And we talked about that would be sort of a weird way to live, where you could just go outside and... Could you see Levi and Lily and Laura and everybody out just eating the grass and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, going through the planter and looking for little bugs and that'd be the way a uh, little hen lives so but anyway the little hen stumbled on some seeds wasn't sure what they were and asked her friends and remember she had four main friends in the story there was the fox and the um, the rat and the goat and uh, the pig and uh, I got that wrong. It was the dog, the rat, the goat, and the pig. And uh, I was thinking of another story just then. So anyway, she, she went out and she talked to her friends, you know, the dog and the rat and the, and the goat and the pig. And they said, oh, those are wheat seeds. And I want to show you what wheat seeds look like. They're sitting right back here. Let me grab you some. We have a whole bunch of wheat seeds. Look at those babies. And so we have a whole, we have a whole lot more than this, but this is wheat and this is what the little uh, red hen was picking up was these wheat seeds. Now each one of these seeds, if you can plant it, can turn into thousands of more wheat seeds. So you just need each year to save a few and you can replant them and they make a whole bunch and so but so she took those and she ended up planting them but before that she asked does anybody want to help me and all of her friends said no they didn't want to have anything to do with that the dog and the rat and the goat and the pig they didn't want to do that and so the little red hen did it herself she went out and she dug up the dirt and put in the seeds and put the dirt back and watered them. And, and so that was some work. But then after a while, the seeds grew like they do. And they turned into these big, like big grass with all these stalks of new wheat on them. And um, it was time to cut that, sort of like mowing the grass. Uh, and... She asked if any of her friends wanted to help, and they all said no. And so she did it all herself. And she even separated uh, the bottom part of the wheat from the top that had all the wheat kernels on it. And she, uh, she ended up doing all that work, too. So she harvested it, and then you have to do what's called threshing, and that's, or thrashing, and that's where you separate the wheat from the bottom part. And now she has wheat, a whole bunch of wheat. And so then you have to get the wheat milled. And that, I've got some of that. This is ours. And this is what it looks like. Oh gosh, let's see if I can get you a better picture here. This is what it looks like when you mill it. So those wheat seeds turn into like a fine powder. And you can see it's like it's in this bag, but it's a fine powder. And now this is what's golden. When you get down to wheat powder like this, you can make all kinds of good stuff. And that's where we had the simple recipe of some wheat flour and some um, yeast and a little bit of salt and some water. And you can make some really good stuff. And so I wanted you to see that stuff of how that changes from the seeds to the flour. And so um, 
she went over to the miller that, that did the milling and uh, that's really the grinding and then came back and then she asked if anybody wanted to help with the um, with the cooking and nobody even wanted to help with the cooking so the dog and the rat and the pig and the goat all said no <sighs> so she did it all herself but then when it came out of the oven it was really good and it smells like incredible and then she was asking and that's where we go back to the story they could they were all outside because they could smell look at that there's the rat and the dog and the goat and the pig and they can all smell what the little red hen was doing and she was saying, I know who's going to eat this bread. And all of her friends said, well, I'll eat the bread and I'll eat the bread. So the dog and the rat and the goat and the pig all said, I'll eat it. I'll help you. I'll eat it. So the question is, what happened in the story? And some of you have read the story, but it's a really interesting story to think about. And they all said they wanted to eat it. And guess what the little red hen said? The little red hen said in the story, Oh, no, you won't. You did not help me plant the seeds. You did not help me grow the seeds. You did not help me thresh the, the wheat. You didn't help me take all that wheat over to the miller. And you didn't help me bake it. And so they're all her friends, or look at the friends. They're like, oh, wait, you're saying we can't, we can't eat the bread? And she said, no, you can't. And then she said, my chicks and I will eat it. And she set the table for herself and her family, cut the warm, soft bread. And I got to tell you, that bread had to smell so good. And I bet her friends were a little bit sad because bread, when it first comes out of the oven, is really good. So she got it all out and she spread some of that berry jam on it. And they each had some bread and it was so good. And there they are enjoying what they had worked for. And so I, I asked you to think about how the story would end. And that is how the story ends with the little red hen saying, no, no, no. So finally, the little red hen got to say no, no, no. Because up to then, all her friends were saying no, no, no. And now the little red hen said, when they said they wanted it, after she had done all the work, she said, no, 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 it's going to be for me and my little babies, and we're going to enjoy it. And they did. So that's the story of the little red hen. And it's sort of a famous story, and now you know the story. Um, <clears throat> and so sometimes I think, what would I do? I, I'm not even sure what I would have done. On one hand, I might have given them a little bit and said, maybe in the future when I do it again, you'll help a lot and then you can get more. But, you know, the little red hen did all the work and it doesn't seem fair that her friends should get the bread, you know? It just doesn't seem fair. And so, but I don't know... Uh, sometimes we think about, what would Jesus Christ do? You know, he, Jesus Christ loved everybody, and I'm not sure. He, nobody asked him what he'd do with the little red hen story. And I don't know if he'd give them a little bit to try to encourage them to start being better friends and really helping and learning that in life, one of the reasons we came here is to learn to work and to help and to serve and to be nice to others. And maybe that's a way to teach them a little bit to want to do that. But uh, the way the actual story ends is that the little red hen said, no, 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 you're not going to get um, the, 
the bread because I did all the work and you refused to do it. And that makes a lot of sense. And I appreciate uh, Lily and Levi and Laura, you, you sharing what you thought as well. I just, um, you know, it's a good story. And, you know, in a way, there's no right or wrong answer exactly. Um, and like I said, I, I'm, I, I don't know if I, if I really had the friends, I might have given them a little bit so they got a taste of it and maybe in the future would want to help. And maybe it could be a way to help them be better and to teach them sort of a little bit of a lesson. Um, I certainly wouldn't have given them all the bread. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things where it's a story and we're trying to learn what's the right thing to do. And, uh, you know, we don't know how good of friends they really were and what their relationships were. And so those are just some of the things I, I thought about. But I also wanted you to see, you know, what the, what the wheat looked like. And, you know, and, and this is real wheat. This is the real stuff right there. That is the real stuff. And maybe in your, in your family, maybe you've got some real wheat as well. And we have a machine that you pour this in. And it's really sort of cool. You pour this in and it goes into a hopper and then this thing just grinds it up and this powder comes flying out of it into another container and it goes pretty quick. Um, but anyway, this is what the powder looks like. Hopefully you can see that, but it's this is what we want. You can use this, but not for much. But once it's like this, you can do some really good stuff with it. And I wanted you to see what that looked like. Well, I love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the story. It's weird we sort of broke it into two pieces. But I really appreciate your uh, thoughts on that. And I hope you have a good day. Um, and I'll, I'll look for another book I could read you. I, I, enjoy I wish you were all here. I wish I could just hug you and put you on my lap and bounce you and and just play with you and maybe this is the best we can do is just sort of be together with Marco Polo and I can read some stories to you. So I love you and I hope you have a great day and remember I love you. <laughs> love you. Bye bye. Have a good day.